Hi guys, um, back with a little lesson on adding digital content or creating that portfolio. And remember I said I needed you to start with a section, uh, a landing page if you will, where from there you direct your audience elsewhere. So I just want to, I mean this is not exactly like your portfolio, but it could be. All right, so here is a page that I have on digital design and then I have these little areas where every time you click one of these areas, it takes you to a different page within my site. Um, and that's kind of what you're going to be doing. And in fact, what I did was I went ahead and added these pages ahead of time by going through pages. And then if you notice, see how they're underneath, they're added here. And then I linked those pages to... Um, content of those. I, I linked from here you, when you land here and I, for example, you click and I go to settings. When the link, I have it, when image is clicked, it goes to the link. Notice it's, it's, it's a link to a page within my site. Um, and that's, that's kind of what you're looking for, for your portfolio is to create that. So you've got to plan for that and set that up ahead of time. So for example, you might have land on your portfolio and then have here like video, graphics, um, other, or video, audio, graphics, and other. I mean, think about how you want to organize or break down the projects you've already created to add. And keep in mind, especially you artistic musical folks, that you can add other content like your artwork. And I will have in my troubleshooting section, how do you do that? So how could I scan a picture of my artwork so that it would show up here and, and be beautiful to look at, that sort of thing? So I'll show you how to do that in troubleshooting, but that's what you want to create. So what I wanted to show you was how I actually create or upload content to a page that I've created. So I'm actually going to change pages. This is my landing page for content. And I'm going to go to, for example, digital resources as a page. And on this page, I have images. And if you click on the images, and you know, here's information about the content, but if you click on the image, the image then takes you to a YouTube video um, of the content, which is pretty cool. But for you, you might just want the actual video there. So I'm going to show you what that would look like. So I'm going to go to add. I'm going to slide down here to where it says video because you've got several videos that you're going to have to upload to. And it says I can actually just upload the video straight into the processor. And I'm going to tell you that is a great idea, but it sometimes struggles. And what I mean by that is if you've got slow internet, um, Sometimes if your video is really long, it gets glitchy and it doesn't want to work correctly. That's an issue. I would recommend, and I know this is a pain in the tail, but I would recommend that you upload your two to th your three videos, right, about me, mashup, and your keynote to YouTube. Now, you're going to have to be careful with music stuff, so maybe you try the video upload first and then to YouTube if it doesn't work. You know, you got to kind of work it out. But if you click, for example, YouTube, you see how it gives me this screen and it's, it's controllable. I'm going to move this screen down. And literally when I click on, I get this bar of tools. When I click on the settings cogwheel, it says what is the web address of the, of the video you want it to show up with. And I've already... I've already added um, a URL that I had. Oh, isn't that a lovely image? Um, yeah, me with my mouth open. Like, that's a surprise. Anyway, I, I drop my video URL in there, and then I have options to, I can set it up with autoplay if it's like something at the beginning that I want people to say. I can have it play in a loop. Um, I can add a description. Um, me with my mouth open. Um, lovely, whatever I want to do. And I can then, and then basically, it will 
let me embed this video right there. It's an automatic um, embedder and the, the play button is already there. I can actually um, change how it looks, the design of it, how I add text, the color of my text that's on this, if I want a shadow around it, um, if I want a border around it, I can choose my border, kick it up a little bit. I mean, it's you have so many options um, to change the way it looks, to animate, which, guys, I'm going to encourage you not to animate things. We don't need a thousand bouncy icons on your page. It just doesn't look clean and professional. Um, but you've got a lot of options, right? And you can position it size-wise any way you want. The only thing you got to remember, again, are that rule with the borders. Don't go outside the border, otherwise your content's going to show up on all your pages. Yeah? Uh, so you can add and design, add content however you wish. The, and that's going to work the same with adding images, right? If you've got um, your photos this way and you can upload them from your computer and then build them into a gallery, which is super cool how we will see those images. You can add, um, oh gosh, music. And again, you, your music has to be an MP3 here. Um, and with your album art, we want to see your album art because you guys did a great job with that. Again, that song that you add is going to have to be an MP3. And I can add a blip in like troubleshooting to tell you how to convert things to an MP3. Or you can, during one of our class help sessions, you can ask and I will walk you through it. So we can do that. Um, keep in mind, you're going to be building sections of your portfolio. And this is how you do it. Last, but one of the really important critical element, don't forget to add explanation as to what it is. So like your mashup, you're going to emphasize how you did editing in iMovie, because unless you tie it to that skill that's related within your resume, it's not going to have a lot of sequence or importance. You know, it's just like anybody else. People don't always look at it and know how you made it. It's your job to tell them how you made the product Therefore, showcasing your skill. One more time, it's your job in your narrative next to your item to tell your audience how you made it, what skills you used, because otherwise they won't know. Okay? Um, that's it for working with portfolio portfolios. But by the way, this is all easy to get rid of it. As long as I've got my stuff there, I hit delete, boom, it's gone. Um, and again, after I add content, I save. We won't publish yet, um, and that's, but that's to come, okay? Have a good one, guys. We'll see you later.